Welcome back everybody. It is day 23 of the 100 day project. Today I've had a lot of people ask me if I would do a tutorial process on how I altered the file folder um, for my design team project for Dreams Etc. So we're going to do that. Uh, I don't know how many days it'll take to do this. I'm going to just kind of do it a little bit at a time. Um, so let's just get started. You're going to need this. You're going to need some sort of digital printout. Now today we are working with Artie Mays, A Touch of Spring. Love this kit. Um, I've, I'm going to be a journal, doing a, a large journal um, showcasing this, but I thought this would just be really, really nice to work with these um, on this project. So let's just get started, guys. Um, So you're going to need your file folder, and I'll try to, to do this, you know, so that you get a good view. And I just um, fold it up so that this is going to make a pocket. And then this is going to be the inside, so I'm only going to worry about um, decorating this outside for now, and then we'll come back and I'll do some stitching around it. But um, Artie Mae's kit is beautifully collaged, so I'm going to just probably just work with this. Now, um, you could always come in with some um, you know music sheets if you want to add a little bit of book page to it if you've got some scraps from your cutoffs of um, our tea dyed papers all of that stuff can be used if you want to um, here's some Edith Holden which might really oh yeah see I don't like that image so I don't do snakes now so I'm going to probably use a bit of that. Um, so let's just get started, guys. Um, like I said, this is probably going to take a while to, to complete this, but we'll just do a little craft craft time each day. Um, and I don't even know if I'll get the whole whole um, thing completed. So and. You know how much I don't like going into this Mod Podge, but I'm out of everything else now, so. I wish I had a little sponge. Let me see if I've got one. Oh, I do. Oh, yay, happy days. I prefer those when I work with the Mod Podge, so. Um, yeah, Artie Maze is, um, this kit, you guys are going to love it. It is beautiful. When I started printing it out, like I told you, I've got a, a big journal planned with this. Um, I was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. She um, collages everything together so nice. Yeah, I'm not going to worry um, about this hanging over the edge. I'm just going to get it on here and then later I can always come back and trim it where I need to. Isn't that pretty? Look at that little, little fairy. She's um, checking everything out in the garden. I think the reason I'm not a fan of um, uh, this stuff is it takes me so long to get it off of my, um, my hands. I'm such a sloppy crafter. I think you guys probably know that by now. That's See, I mean, look at it. You can't really improve on that, can you? But I might put a little bit of the um, Edith Holden amongst it. 
but I'll just get some of this, the white edges off here. And if you wanted to, you guys know I'm not into really deep, you know, heavily just uh, inked. But if you like that look, then obviously you're going to want to distress those edges before you glue it down. You could come back and do it, but the the diff, it'll be a little more difficult um, because you'll you'll have that Mod Podge seal on it. Um, here's another couple more I've printed, so I'm going to have to make sure I put. Oh, look at that page! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let me think how I want to place everything. I think I'm going to have that. Look at that little bunny. He's a sweetie. And you could do um, the same process on the inside of it if you want to. Um, I just came back with a complete image and um, glued it down and then did all my, you know, stitching because you, you want to probably do that inside um, before you, you get it over to your machine, so. I kind of like that, but I'm going to have it go over the um, spine Actually, I won't because I'm going to reinforce this one with a little bit of um, muslin. So, <clears throat> you work these things out when each time you do a project, you kind of think, oh, yeah, okay, next time I want to do this, this, and this. So, it's all, you know, it's always a learning. A learning process so I'm going to come back over that just slightly You guys saw how I did the um, journal cover um, for the mini journal in the um, altered file folder. That's how I had done that particular um, file folder, but I just think um, this one, I think I'm just going to use the larger pieces, and then I'm probably going to put a little bit of that. Uh, Edith Alden. It was fun to do because, um, as I said, just kind of nice. I like working with the, um, you know, the, the envelopes and making things flip up and little tuck spots. I don't know, there's something about that really fulfilling. appreciate everybody who's been leaving some, um, well I appreciate all the comments, but I've had some uh, nice little tips that people have taken the time to leave, and I appreciate that because um, I don't know, there's so many things I don't know about and I really want, I'm always wanting to learn new things. I think it's really important to keep learning Particularly, you know, when you get older, I, I, I don't want to get stuck in my ways. I see it with so many older people, um, and I think that's when you really start aging, when you stop being open to new 
ideas and um, new ways of seeing things in life because there's always room for improvement I think and we all look at problems differently and there's been times that I've seen somebody else you know have a solution to a problem and I think to myself why couldn't I see that that that's all that needed to be done but our brains all work very different and yeah I'm totally open to I know I can learn so much and I have from people on here so okay guys um, that's how it's looking so far. Isn't that beautiful? Because it just looks as though it's just blending right back into that file folder. And then, you know, afterwards we'll come in and, and just put some ink to that to make it all come together. I really, genuinely don't even think. Let me see. I, I really don't think it would benefit from adding this personally it, it doesn't need it so okay guys I know this has been short but um, that's where I'm gonna have to leave this today because I'm gonna set this to the side let it dry and then tomorrow we'll carry on with it so thanks guys for stopping in you have a great rest of the day I hope you get to make something um, get some craft time in and I'll see you soon bye <music>